Okay, in this occasion, I'm going to explain to you a little bit about group comparison test. And the statistics that we are going to use is independent sample t-test. You use these statistics if you want to compare the mean scores between two groups of participants. Um, I will give you some examples. The first one is if you want to compare the reading score between class X and class Y, comparing the GPA between male and female group, and comparing the writing score between high motivated and low motivated group of students. And then before doing a t-test, there are two prerequisite tests to fulfill. The first one is normality of data distribution test. We are going to use the sapiro wheel kolmogorov minot test. And the second one is homogeneity of variances test using Levin's statistics test. We are going to discuss these two prerequisite tests before going to the test. So these are the research question. Is there any mean difference of reading score between male and female students? And then we can make two hypotheses. The first one is the null hypothesis, the HO. There is no significant mean difference of reading score between male and female students. And the HA, there is a significant mean difference of reading score between male and female students. Let's do the analysis. So these are the data for sex and reading score. And we need to copy all of the data and go to SPSS. Just directly copy paste the data from Excel. So um, the first thing that you need to do is go to variable view. And then you have to define the variable. The first one, let's name it uh, group because there are two groups, male and female. And the second one is, let's say, score because we have reading score. If you want to make it longer, then you can put it on the label. Students group. And then in the score, we have reading score. And then, uh, as you can see from the data view, the grouping variables are still M and F. We want to change it to male and female. To do that, you can see the values here. You have none. And then next to it, you have three dots here. Click on that. And then you put the value F and the label is female. Click add. And then M, the label is male. And then click add. And then you can click OK here. For the score, you don't have any uh, groups. So just let it, just leave it like none here. And then the measure in the group, the measure is nominal because male and female is a nominal scale. And then the score is interval scale. But in SPSS, you don't have interval scale. You have a scale for interval and ratio scale. So put on scale here. Now your data is ready. You can go back to here. And then you can see the group here. It has been male and female. And if you want to check the value, and then you just need to click on this symbol. And then you have M, F, M, F again. The first thing that we have to do is to check the normality of data distribution test using Sapiro Wilk and Kolmogorov's mean of this. In, in the SPSS, you click Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, Explore. So you have this. You put the reading score in the dependent list and students group in the factor list. And then you click plots. You have to click on histogram, normality plots with test, and power estimation. After you do that, uh, continue. 
and then click OK. So we have the results here now. The thing that you have to see is the test of normality here. And then let's have a closer look to this table. So this is the table. So in SPSS, p-value is signed by sig value or the significant value. If the p-value is below 0 0.05, it means that the data is not normally distributed. If the p-value is above 0 0.05, it means that the data is normally distributed. If the data is normally distributed, then you can use the t-test. But if uh, the data is not normally distributed, then you need to use man whitney u test. Um, in this case, we are going to talk about t test. So at the moment, we are not going to talk about the man with u test. So as you can see from the table here, based on Kolmogorov Smirnov, the p value of both male and female is 0. 200. So it means that it satisfies this one. The P is above 0 0.05 because it is 0 0.200. It means that the data is normally distributed uh, for both groups. So you can use T test. And also based on the Sapiro wheel, the p value is 0 0.564 for female. And then for male, it is 0 0.667. So both of them, again, satisfy this one. Yeah, the p is above 0 0.05. So it means that the data are normally distributed. So you can use t test. So that's the first prerequisite testing, the test of normality. And then the second one is the test of homogeneity of variances. As you can see from here, we need to test the second one, homogeneity of variances test, by using Levitt statistics test. So we go back to the result, the output here. You have this table, right? And let's take a look on this table. This is the table for test of homogeneity of variance. If the p-value is below 0 0.05, it means that the variances between two groups are not equal. But if the p-value is above 0 0.05, it means that the variances between the, the two groups are equal. If it is uh, the variances between the two groups are equal, you use equal variances assumed. Equal variances assumed in t-test because in t-test you will have two kinds of tables there: equal variances assumed or equal variances not assumed. If the variances between two groups are not equal, um, so let's uh, take a look on this table. You can see the significant value based on mean here. Yeah, based on mean here is 0 0.389. So it means that the p-value is above 0 0.05 and it implies the variances between two groups are equal. So in the t-test, we need to use the table for equal variances assumed. Now we can test the hypothesis. To test the hypothesis, you can go to Analyze in SPSS, Compare Means, and Independent Samples T-Test. Click on that, and then you put the reading score in the test variable, and you put the groups in the grouping variable, like the name suggests. And then you can see from here the groups, and then you have two quotation marks. So it means that the two groups have not been defined. You have to define the group first. 
Uh, so you click here, define groups. There are two groups, right? The male group and female group. So you put F for group one and M for group two or the other way around. You can go M and F and then you click continue. In here, you can see that the group has been defined. There are two groups, male and female. For example, if you have four classes, A, B, C, D, then you have to define which group that you want to compare. For example, if you want to compare A and C, then you define the group as A and C. That's how you define the group or decide which groups to compare, right? So now we are ready for um, running the t-test. You click OK. In here, uh, we have three tables. Well, we are going to discuss only two now. The first one is group statistics. This is the descriptive statistics. And then the independent sample test. This is the hypothesis testing. Let's uh, have a closer look on those two tables. This is the first table that you can see from the hypothesis testing, which is group statistics. Because we want to see the difference between two groups, we can see the mean score of the two groups. As you can see, the mean score of the female is 56.01, while the male is 51.10. It means that the reading score of female group is better than the male group, or there is a difference between male and female. Uh, there are some differences here, but we don't know whether this is significant or not. So it, um, to see whether they are significant or not, we need to see the hypothesis testing Yeah, by using the t-test. So this, this, this is a table, and I provide you again with the hypothesis. This is the hypothesis that we want to check. There is no significant mean difference in reading score between male and female. There are two conditions here. The first one is if the p-value is below 0 0.05, it means that the test rejects the HO. It means that we are confident that the HA is correct. So it means that there is a significant mean difference. Yeah. And if the p-value is above 0 0.05, it means that the test fails to reject the HO. Or we are not confident that the HA is correct. If we are not confident the HA is correct, it means that we retain the HO. So let's have a look at this table. Now, you can see there are two tables here, the, the above and the below table. We can go back to the test of homogeneity of variances. We know that um, the P is above 0 0.05, so it means that the variances between two groups are equal. So you need to see the equal variances assumed in the t-test. So in the t-test, we need to see the, tab uh, the the above table here. That is the equal variances assumed, not the equal variances not assumed. This is what we are going to look at. Yeah, equal variances assumed. And of course, we are going to see the t-test here. These are the table for the t-test. And uh, we need to see the p-value. So in here, the p-value is 0 0.322. It is way above 0 0.05. So it means that the p-value is above 0 0.05. The t is 1.002. The df is 42 with the p of 0 0.322 or p above 0 0.05. So it means that the test fails to reject the null hypothesis. Because the, the test fails to reject the null hypothesis, we are not confident the HA is correct. 
it means that we need to retain the HO. So in conclusion, there is no significant mean difference in reading score between male and female. With T1.002, the F42, and P is above uh, 0 0.05. So as, you, as we can see here, even though in the descriptive statistics, the mean scores are different, but it doesn't mean that they are significantly different. Yeah, based on the t-test analysis, we can conclude that there is no significant mean difference in reading score between male and female. So I think that's all about t-test. I hope you learned something from my video and thank you so much for watching.